Hello and welcome to this video and to my channel. So before I, I'm going to do a review of this um, high definition camera, subscribe to this channel and hit the little bell so that um, I'm going to be doing reviewing a lot of electronic part products, anything related to videography or film making. So um, I can alert you when I've got another video. Okay, so this one is my workhorse and this is the Canon, if I can have it zoom in there, there you go. The Canon Vixia HF G40. Uh, it's my workhorse, and I love this camera so much so that I have two of them. The one recording this video is the same exact camera. And that comes in handy because I'm a professional videographer. So I, I, I shoot, um, in more recent times, I shoot a ballet for a local company, uh, three ballets a year. And the nice thing is that I have one camera on a wide shot, so it captures the entire performance every time. And then whenever there are solo dances, I can take the second one and do a little zoom in and get some really clear close-ups. And my client loves that. And since it's the same exact camera, I know that the, the picture I'm going to get, it's exactly the same. So I don't have to do any color correction or color matching, you know, post-production. I could if I need to, but I don't. Uh, that's one of the reasons. The other thing is also I'm a filmmaker and I've just found that when I'm doing a simple conversation scene between two people, uh, instead of having just the one camera, now I have two cameras pointing to each actor and then get at capturing the audio and it's just it's just a lot easier on editing it's less editing so one thing first thing that i want to say about this about it's it's just it's his design it's ergonomically designed very comfortable you know my fingers up here can reach the telephoto wide um cradle here the little button for going zooming in zooming out then my my thumb can easily hit the start and stop button when you to record and then this is the if you want to you know uh, access the menu if you want to make any changes to exposure whatever you could click that little function button and this is a little joystick and you can go up and down and change the settings this is a 20 times optical zoom and a 400 times digital zoom so it's it's amazing uh this is the way it comes it has the little hood where you know you keep this open and closed just to protect the lens there's your lens okay and I always like to keep it closed. There's a more paranoid. This actually comes off, but I like to keep it on there. You can see right on top the stereo microphones that are built in. And it does a pretty good job. Obviously, it's omnidirectional, so it's going to pick up every sound. But it's pretty decent, uh, the, the actual uh, sound that it picks up. So, of course, they have a shoe mount here. And there's another little one back here if you, if you have, like in this case... Like the camera I'm using now, I've got a my wireless microphone mounted on the top. And then if I needed to get a, a video light, even though I'm using separate lights, uh, this guy slides out. There we go. And it, you got another sh uh, shoe mount there. And I think they're both cold shoe mounts. I don't use them that often. but Then you've got a couple of settings here. Um, when you put it on camera, obviously, it, you're using the camera like I'm using now or it's off. Or, and then media is when you want to play back your, your recordings just to check it out, which I always do. This is cool. I love this. Um, you've, you could set it. Oh, got it upside down. Hold on. You could set it to uh, auto, completely auto. So everything, exposure, uh, focus, everything is, is set to auto. Which for most, you know, depending on what you're using it for, um, that might be fine. You may not have to use any manual settings. But again, because I'm a uh, professional videographer and filmmaker... I always set it on manual because I do want to control some of those features sometimes depending what I'm shooting. But it has a cinema mode, which I love because that's another reason why I bought this um, camera is that it, it, it can shoot in 24 frames per second, which is the standard in, in movie making. So that it'll look like film as opposed to video. And you've seen the difference if you look at, a, at a, uh, an actual film. Even if you're watching it on TV versus, like, say, a soap opera where it looks live and looks, like, really clean. That's why that's, that's being shot either in 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. But if you want to make it look like a movie, you switch it over to cinema. Um, or you can even, in the manual settings, I think you can just switch it to 24 frames per second. This way it looks more like a film, if anything. So speaking of that, you can shoot... Um, 
in the raw format, which is MTS, the file, uh, and uh, you can go as high as 60 frames per second progressive. And it's just a beautiful picture. And then you can go as high as 28 megabits per second. So the megabits determines the smoothness of the video. And as I mentioned, uh, because I am shooting a ballet, I want, you know, I want it to look completely clean with no blurs. Uh, and so even if they pause the video, it's going to look really sharp and, and smooth. So uh, depending on what you're shooting, you may, you may not have to use such a high megabits per second because the higher the, the setting, so if I'm doing complete full HD, 60 frames per second, 28 megabits, of course, it's going to be a bigger file and it'll take up more room on the card, on the SD card. When you lower those settings, so if you do 30 frames per second or if you lower the megabits to say 18 or so on, obviously you can fit more on an SD card and it tells you. Uh, and I'll, I'll try to put that up in a second, uh, the viewfinder. So this is three and a half inch viewfinder, which I love. There's some buttons in, it's touch screen. So I'll demonstrate that in a minute. It's totally flipped. So if I wanted to videotape myself, I can face it forward or face it yourself. Or, you know, a lot of times if I'm shooting low angle, I'll put it up so I can see what I'm doing. I love it. I love this thing. Um, okay, so let me see. I'm going to, let me continue on the rest of this, uh, the features here that they have. Um, here is where you plug in. It comes with an AC adapter. I got to just get my finger in there. There we go. And get this guy open. And there it is. So the AC plug goes in there. And then, to be honest with you, I, I don't, I've never found the need for this, but the nice thing is that this is, uh, it's not forgetting about old technology, the RCA, the RCA plugs, which I'll show you the accessories that it comes with. So the old RCA before HD came into, into the picture, uh, that's what that's for. It comes with a plug that has the three yellow lines to represent video and audio left and right. And then you can, you know, if you don't have an HD monitor or an HD TV, and you have the old monitors um, or, or you're going through an old VCR, then you can still watch the videos. Of course, it won't be HD, but you've got that flexibility, which is nice. There's just an external speaker if you wanted to listen your, to your recordings. Of course, you can also listen to it with a headphone. And this is the rest of the jacks here. So the red one is always your external microphone. So you can um, attach an external microphone like I'm doing now. Uh, the wireless microphones I'm using is plugged to that jack all right then there's your headphone jack all right here's usb so that you can uh, transfer the footage to your computer so so you can edit it and then it's got a mini uh hdmi port so if you want to connect that to an hdmi uh, monitor which i always recommend i use one when i'm shooting especially the ballet um or pretty much shooting anything just it's just a little bigger monitor than the three. I mean, this works fine. I, I love this and it's really clear and it's it's a 10,000 to one contrast ratio and it's three and a half inches. It's, it's nice, um, but I have a seven inch monitor that sits on the top here and it's just a bigger screen so I can see more detail. So there are all your connections there. And then there's got a remote there, um, the old LANC. All right, so let's get that in there. Features, obviously the the mount for the for the tripod oh and then this is one of my favorites you can have two sd cards in there which i do now okay a and b and the nice thing about this there's two ways you can use this oh by the way but let me go back to the format so mts is the is the kind of the raw format but you can also shoot in mp straight to mp4 because if you know again it's going to come down to what you're going to use this for if you're going to record to upload straight to, to YouTube, then might as well record right onto MP4 and then upload that. Uh, the MTS files, since they're more raw, uh, it would take longer to upload, but you can shoot up to 60 frames per second with MP4. So you set that mode, uh, your shooting mode before you start recording, but you have that option of either sh recording in the MTS format or the MP4 format. But here's the cool thing. There's two ways you can use the uh, the two SD cards. One's called um, uh, dual relay, I think it is, where when one SD card fills up, it'll automatically continue the recording on the second one. And man, that gives you hours and hours and hours of recording time, which I love. Okay, and that's how I usually use it. 
um, because because I shoot so much stuff and I try to you know I try to be uh, organized in the fact that I try to get the footage off of this onto a hard drive uh, as soon as possible but because I have you know so many projects it's just easier for me to just leave it in there and just go on to the next project knowing that I have plenty of room to fit all those projects and plus I also shoot use this for personal reasons for my grandkids birthdays and different parties and whatever the case may be but the other way you can use it which is pretty cool I've never tried this but you can actually I mentioned the two formats that you can shoot in MTS and MP4 you can shoot both formats at the same time so one will record on one card and the other record on the other card that's pretty cool um, uh, uh, talk about flexibility then a bunch and then it has a bunch of other settings that you you know that that can be used for your situation it has a bunch of these buttons that are either assigned what they call assigned or not assigned and I think there's five buttons that are not assigned and you can assign them to any any function um, in fact let me pop in a battery here real quick so this is this is actually the original battery they came with but I always buy I always buy extras all right so you just hold that little latch there and slide it in there and then you'll hear it can't turn on I'm gonna switch it on okay here we go and I have the, the lens closed but but you get the the gist so there's a couple of buttons that are already assigned so this means autofocus manual focus so it's easy to just do that switch BC you can see it's doing it right there in the screen and this is a touch screen so you can see automatic focus and manual focus I can take photos with this that's the other thing I forgot to mention so if I just click that little if I tap that thing it's taking a photo of course I'm not taking taking a photo of a black uh, <laughs> there's nothing there but you can see all your settings here you can see the meter is moving it's picking up on the mics on top um, but then there's other buttons that are not assigned but I can I can assign them to different functions whatever it is if it's exposure that I want to bring up so you know just like most of these cameras um, I can either use the function keys here like I said it has a little joystick here let me pull back a little bit so you can kind of see that here you go um, so I can bring up the same there's all the functions and then I can move with the joystick here but um, mostly at times I'm using the screen I'm doing the touch screen here so you, you have the up arrow so you've got kind of the main settings here but if you hit function again you get uh, even more settings here like as far as the recording mode and and you know what kind of um, uh, media I'm using and whatnot so a lot more settings there so let me let me X out of there so that's kind of the screen uh, one of the cool things I love is uh, you can I with all these little things you know telling you showing you your your audio media and, and the settings here uh, sometimes when I'm recording the actual ballet you know I don't want this stuff in my in in my way now like I said I usually use an external monitor that sits up here but if I was using this one let's say I forgot the monitor right there display if I, it it toggles on and off watch when I press it gone now I've got a clean screen so when I'm shooting the ballet obviously I don't want something in the way of somebody's face so I make sure I'm capturing everything the edges of my screen so I love that feature where you can turn all that stuff off on and off that's beautiful okay um, I think that's mostly for the camera I'm gonna just show you some of the accessories it comes with but I love this camera I've been using it for many years um, I'm gonna put a link down below of the of it's probably going to be the newer model this is the g40 but they are pretty much the same uh, they haven't really changed much over the years um and so i would appreciate you you know buying it through that link uh full disclosure uh you don't pay anything extra you pay the same price anybody would pay but i'm i'm i get a commission if you buy through my link it will really help me out for doing this review for you you just buy it through me you don't pay anything extra they just pay me a little commission after you buy okay let me just kind of go over some of the accessories that it comes with obviously it comes with an AC adapter which I I usually shoot in again unless I'm shooting in a you know outside and I really can't plug into an AC uh, plug uh, and I have to use batteries I've got plenty of batteries that last long so but it comes with that and of course I already showed you I think I still have it attached the, the initial battery it comes with it lasts pretty long I think it's uh, about three hours which is not bad they have other ones that last even longer but I always suggest having plenty of backup batteries 
Uh, it, this is what I was telling you about. It comes with this RCA uh, plug. If you don't have an H HD HDMI monitor, you can still plug into the old mount monitors with the RCA plugs, you know, the video the and the audio left and right. So you plug into that adapter that I showed you earlier. So it comes with that, uh, obviously an HDMI plug. And, you know, like I said, the, the output plug is a mini uh, HDMI, all right? Oh, there you go. And then the, the other side is your standard size. So this will plug into a monitor, you know, a TV, whatever has the H HDMI uh, port in. So that's that. You get the USB cable so that you can you know, um, transfer your files to your computer, your editor, so you're ready to edit. Another way I do it is I actually remove the SD cards. I showed you there's two of them. I actually remove it from the camera and put it into my, you know, multi-card reader that I have. I have, uh, I have a few laptops, but I have one laptop that has it built in. So just like any SD card you push in, it has a little spring and there it is. Okay. So I'll either put that in my uh, internal card reader that my laptop has and then I have another laptop with an external um, reader so uh, usually doesn't matter I think they are pretty much the same as far as speed I personally think when you put it into a reader it, it transfers a little faster and then lastly you get this cute little remote um, and it has you know you can zoom you can control the zoom which I've done this before if I'm shooting from you know I'm shooting where I'm on screen and I want to zoom in a little bit um, I remember I mentioned on the screen you can take photos. Well, you can do it with this too. Um, you can obviously start recording and stop. You have that there. Uh, you can go, you know, onto the menu if you want to change any settings. So you got a bunch of, you know, uh, here's that display thing again. If you can see it there, let's see if it's. Yeah, I think you could. Yeah, the display button that removes all the settings from your screen. So if you wanted just a clean screen. So you can, you can uh, control it from here. Of course, if there's something I did not mention, by all means, put them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them as, as soon as possible.